Um, so, uh, Mediocre says, uh, Dear Bort Borvin and uh, Uchiha Madden, uh, I'm a Sakura fan and I want to apologize Oh my god. for that at the start of this email. Oh Towards the start of the Nuns LP, will he showcase some of the deep-seated deep hatred of Sakura? Not here to call you out on it, but I noticed a pattern. You seem to have a powerful hatred for certain characters, which caught my attention. When I see a character like Sakura, who's underutilized and takes the back seat to the rest of the cast, or a character like Dar, who makes a bad decision and pays for it, I tend to put the impetus uh, for them being forgiven or improved on the author, not the character. My question is, have you ever put your disdain for a character's choices on the author and not the character? And usually, what's the tipping point? They're both. It's always on the author. Everything. It's all, I mean, but the characters aren't real. It, it ends, like, exactly, like... The it, the the author being the end point of the discussion is uninteresting because there's nothing else to talk about. Of course, about. the author wrote it. Right at the end of the day, the flaws of a story are if you just say, "Yeah, the person who wrote it did a bad job," then what else is you gonna have? There's yeah. no point in having a further discussion about I it. I really hated how Sakura was written. Right, so changes to yeah, Sakura sucks. Like, there's no functional difference between those two. Yeah, and creating a difference between them just again, it doesn't allow you to discuss why. You shouldn't do this in your story, yeah. and then talk about stories that don't do that, or do the opposite, or do a better version of it. Right? If you just go, yeah, there. You know, so putting it on the author doesn't help. It's not a fruitful discussion. Yeah, it's it's not pointless. Very useful. Right? So yeah, it's also you, a lot less fun. Yes. So you just put it on. So you can put it on Kishimoto, and that's fine. But at the end of the day, no, I want to break down the parts where it's like, yeah, Sakura continues to make bad decisions. She doesn't just her whole life. She doesn't just end up being like overshadowed. And then uh, decide I need to do stung things for myself. I need to catch up, or or overshadowed and linger in the background or something. Because she has those arcs, but then she continues to make bad decisions, which the camera and I say camera to just mean the framing of the story. Yeah, almost puts it in a place where they're trying to make you understand her motivation when she does things that are stupid. And you're like, but her motivation is stupid. You her know, motivation is that she really thought that kid in middle school was hot. It like in some cases it even makes like Naruto's stubbornness for being like I'm going to save you no matter what. Yeah. Right? The the like extreme redemptive qualities that we discussed for example, it makes his stubbornness look like the sanest position in the world when she's going I have to go get him. And then she has a moment where she, like, knocks out her teammates to sneak in to go get at Sasuke first to get to be the one to take him out. And then has a moment where she's trying to fake him out by being like, yeah, I'm here to join you no matter what. And then he goes, all right, then kill this one person that's my former teammate. I don't need them anymore. And her plan is to fake him out and then get him. Yeah. But she has a moment where she's really considering... Oh, killing I, the person and actually doing the flip. Maybe I should just... And you're like, why would you show her doing this stupid thing and then going, no, wait, and then by that point, Sasuke's like, aha, see? And then and then you get to the end and you're like, oh, she's just boy crazy. So That's you, literally her whole character. She has this whole moment of, like, reconsideration when she hesitates in this at this point and, and you're like... Are you actually considering what he's saying? Or going through with this, I'm a fool, you play? I don't know, he looks pretty hot in that lavender. It's, dude. Ugh. It's an, and then! And this is, and like, do you, like, some of the, she walks up to Naruto at one point and goes, Hey man, you know what? I was wrong the whole time. Sasuke really is a traitor, and he needs to go. So I know you say you want to save him, but don't worry about that. I like you. I realized I was being stupid the whole time. It's you, Naruto. I love you. What? I love what? you. What? I know about that. You're the one I love. She literally pulls this fucking dirtbag horse shit. <laughs> where she comes up to him and decides I'm like, whether she's lying to herself or to him. That's yeah. Yeah. She's choosing to fucking just be this piece of shit. Sakura. Sakura. In a moment where she hasn't actually put him out of her head. 
but she's she's basically like like it's the pre-bound right and so everyone gets there's a conversation it's one of my it's one of these moments where i'm like oh thank god this happened right and it's a moment where everyone all the other kids as adults they're having like naruto's not there and they all go yo sasuke's gotta go right yeah like he used to be our boy but he joined isis so he has to go yeah he's he's a murderer he's evil can we all and everyone's like ah fuck he's such a dick but yeah, man, clearly he's got to go. And Ino and Sakura are like, I can't take it. And they're crying. And Shin- Shikamaru's like, nah, nah, he's got to fucking go. You know? And everyone's just being like, okay, cool. We get we get it. And Sakura, Nara- the last time he, he saw you, he tried to kill you. And the time before that, he knocked you out. And the time before that, like, what? And what so, you- you're right. And so they're just like, like, they're just like. Uh, he tried to kill her and like, not save someone else in the village. Will fuck you, bitch! Like Jesus. Anyway, but when he knocked her out that first time, he said thank you. Oh. So he did it in the right way. Anyway, she is dick crazy. So they fucking have this whole moment of like, okay, cool. We all we're all in agreement. Yeah, let let let, let this asshole cry her eyes out. But who's gonna go tell Naruto? Yeah, right. Who's gonna tell the walking nuke that <laughs> uh, we're gonna? We're gonna. We we made a decision on this, you know. And then she goes, "I'll be the one to tell him." And everyone's like, "That's everyone, a terrible idea." And and she's like, "No, no, no, no. He's part of my teammate. This is us three. This is a team seven thing. Let no, me do it's it." It's not anymore. It's the whole. So then they go, "All right," and then they walk behind her, carefully, as she walks up to Naruto and goes, "Hey, Naruto, guess what? I love you." Are you? I love you. This is what you wanted that's, to hear the whole that's, time, that's right? That's the way it played out? Yeah. I was foolish. I just, you know, I didn't see it. And you're the one I've always wanted. And Naruto's standing there and he looks at her and he fucking... You can see him doing the head cock. And he's piecing the cogs together. And he basically just kind of... He takes that second. And he goes, get the fuck out of here! Be gone! Be gone! How dare you! You're full of shit! How dare you! (laughs) And she goes, what? But isn't this what you always wanted to hear? And then fucking Kiba and whoever are standing behind her going, Oh my god, is this bitch serious? And he fully fucking smells it. He smells her serpentine breath. And he calls it out. And it's fucking infuriating. She's awful! She's so awful. Every moment, every breath she takes, every move she makes is just worse than the last, dude. That's legitimately unbelievable. Unbelievable. Now, and the and to cut it back, Kishimoto is obviously at fault for writing the character that way, but that doesn't make the character not the worst thing I've ever heard today. The worst thing I've ever heard to do. Yeah, you know what? That is appropriate, the way that I talk. That's terrible! And this is after uh, the seed of, of Hinata had been planted. Yeah. Because she shows up to help him fight in the, against the fucking That got planted boss. back in the tournament. That's no, 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 no. But there's a legit, legit oh, yeah. one where, like, 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 the village is dead. And and she jumps in to be like, I'ma help Naruto for real, for real. My giant titties and shit. And she jumps and like and he yeah. and she's like, Because I fucking care about you, bro. Yeah. And then like sacrifices herself in a moment. Naruto goes, Oh god, what the fuck? And he's like, so, Dams, uh, the, dams. Damn. Yeah. Dam damn them yams. Shabam. Wham, bam. Where'd all that shit come from? Thank you, ma'am. I, it was hidden underneath is, the, the, is this that branch family shit? It's the hidden <laughs> under the Hyuga jacket. You couldn't see it. The Byakugan has no blind spots, but those titties do. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is... <laughs> okay. The blind spots behind his head. All right, yeah, sure. Anyway, so she's awful in ways That's... you have not even seen yet. And then every time Tsunade shows up and like punches the ground or kicks open a fucking cliff yeah and you go oh yeah that's the thing that sakura's supposed to emulate and become eventually but is not because tsunade doesn't have any of the nonsense baggage and she she did it once and it was like oh cool she's turning into that and it's like no let's just bring the other one back please yeah fuck dial it back yeah 
You know what's interesting? It, it's it's actually like like up until the point that you're like you're boy crazy and you're just going after you you cannot live without the scent of Uchiha dick, right? That's one thing, right? She can't. She needs the whiff. And and, and is, he knows there to like fucking amp her up and shit. And and she's running in a straight fucking. She's running straight forward towards a cliff because she can't get enough. There's of a it, dick right? over the edge of that cliff. I'm telling you. And that's one thing, and that's one dimension of being awful. Yeah. But then you get this emotional manipulation shit where you're just like, you you know what? And this is the only this is the only bit that you can actually feel perhaps a little bit good about, right? You're so awful that you two pieces of shit deserve each other. They do. Um, so I was just thinking, right? So let's take... Let's take Naruto. There's characters in this that are horrible murderers. And will probably engage on redemptive arcs, right? We're in that. We're going to talk about that later. Um, and... When you do your redemptive arc, if you're just a horrible psycho murderer, if you genuinely sacrifice parts of yourself or yourself or whatever you can you cannot walk it back but you, the audience will deal with it so like vegeta is a really good example yeah okay vegeta's evil Vegeta's super evil right but because he's willing to fucking die fighting like cell and freeze and all that shit and for the the greater good and all that crap people go yeah okay you're a good guy now well let me elaborate on that when you've done horrible atrocities and evil, yeah, and you regret them, mm -hmm. it's not enough to just regret them. You have to act. We've always you, said you have this, to right? Act, and but, you usually have to die. But, well, here's the thing, right? In storybook context, yes, you can say that because they don't, they 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 haven't earned whatever. But yeah. but let's think about think about it in another frame, right? What is the most you can possibly give? Everything. Yeah. So this person is willing to give everything they can mm -hmm. and more to fix possibly what they've done or right the wrong. Yeah. So, Go on. Uh, but when it's characters that aren't psycho murderers, characters that aren't bad enough to gain redemptive arcs that would have a drama to them, when they're just liars or pieces of shit with no body suck, count with no body count with no body count a redemptive arc is therefore like it, it would be too much it's right very, yep and so i feel like they can never be fixed so like sasuke you could fix if he did something grand and selfless and in contrast to his earlier actions right he, he gets a body count right and you'd be like, you'd be like, okay, well, you know, I've always, you know, I've, I've, I've been evil, but now I'm good, and I'm working at being good. And the important thing is that when your, when your shitty character becomes redemptive, other characters should still treat them like shit, because they're assholes. <laughs> I mean, they should have to earn it. That, right? that can, yeah, that, can, that dep right? depends on the like story. Like Goku and Vegeta, Goku just fucking turns on a dime and goes, okay, and well, it's like, calm down, Goku. Because you've got, you've got a, a you know, a dumb, friendly right? character. Where right? other people are like, isn't Vegeta like a psycho, right? Yeah. And at a certain point, you're like, how many times you got to save the world? Right, but with, with like a character like Sakura, who's just a bitch and a dumbass, it's like, what is she supposed to do to turn that around? Stop, right? But... So, stopping isn't enough so what's funny is what you're attempting <laughs> is actually something they tried with a character there's a character danzo in the story yeah who's like he's for the leaf and he does everything for the leaf including being a human a horrible piece of shit yeah right and he's like the scummiest you can get whilst doing it by, by being on the right by team. being on the right team yeah. right you will go through any atrocity you will um god there's uh, oh man, everybody really needs to watch Legend of the Galactic Heroes. There's a wonderful character who embodies this entire thing. But it's like you are on the right team and you are going through whatever needs whatever means whatever necessary. Whatever needs be done it. Yes, right? Um and they will always be able to stand and argue that I'm doing it for the right reasons kind of thing and, and you're like and people are like but you're mm -hmm. scum. And usually 
there will be a moment where that character, in order to clarify, because the audience can't live in this uncomfortable world of ambiguity, yeah. that character will then pick up a baby and stab it. Yeah. And then go, this was an enemy baby. There, there's, there's, two ways, there's two ways around it. Either they go full crazy, or something happens, and they go, oh my god, it was totally pointless. It was not worth it at all. And they, like, mentally self-destruct. But, like, you, you have to have that moment so that the audience goes, you were on the fence, and you were clearly leaning this way from the opposite side of the fence, and now you stab that baby, so there you go. Yeah. Right? Now you can safely be written off as a fucking... Goodbye. You know, as... as, as so there's baby no... Baby stabber. Yeah, as a baby stabber. Right? Because otherwise, when you have these moments where someone like that gets it super hard, you go, whoa! Whoa! What did you... What did you do to deserve that, Jurassic world lady <laughs> you know she's gonna be she's gonna she's outlast the one. that movie she's the one every time from now on you have a moment of overdoing it it's that lady that's the one for like nothing and it because you're because you can't why because she was kind of a bitch is that it because you're not sure <laughs> if they were going for the tragic casualty or the or the comeuppance you know she got it worse than most movie villains get it she got it worse than james bond villains get it for nothing, and and, it, and you don't you don't know if it was kind of because she was kind of douchey. <laughs> you know, That's yeah. a, like I was like, what? And, and like her douchiness isn't even wrong because she's a she's a she works at the park. Yeah, and then her boss, her boss's nephews show up, and her boss goes, "Take care of my nephews," and she goes, "What? Fucking no!" I that's not. It's not my fucking job. She's wearing a power suit. It's, I'm 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 running the fucking dinosaur park. What the fuck? To the dinosaur death room with you, woman. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? No, she like she she <laughs> got that job to get away from children. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Anyway, it's it's a, that's that's the standout for going hard the opposite way, where you're like, dear God, was that overkill? Why did that lady have to get it so bad? Comboed, air comboed. Three, three dinosaurs, right? Three? Might have been four. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, she gets it worse than the villainous dinosaur. Everyone, she gets because it worse she than... gets killed by the mosasaur, the same way the villain dinosaur gets killed by the mosasaur. But she got comboed into it. Yeah. So um, all of this really is is insanely interesting, and and, and the, the 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 dumbness of ev like everything that you left off on. The, you know the trajectory that your characters were headed in? Yeah. Like, they just keep going that way, and the story puts boost pads on the ground to help them get Naruto keeps further. getting dumber and dumber, and Sasuke keeps getting worse and worse. And Sakura gets, like, it, it just, everyone Crazier. accelerates harder in the directions they were going away in. Away from each other. Like, nobody's... Having change of hearts and then coming back to like a, a, a consensus or With something. With one exception, and it's one that you could have kind of seen, but it's it's basically the 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 threads that make Sasuke accelerate past the point of nonsense are are based on Itachi, obviously. Yeah. yeah. And Itachi ends up being a pretty rad open and shut case character. Yep. A hundred percent. Um Zabuza ends up being a rad open and shut case character, and a little he gets a little he gets a little um a little comeback moment. Yeah, where they go back to him and you're like, oh, don't fuck him up, don't fuck him up. And then they didn't. And you're like, okay, good. But Itachi ends up being a super interesting thing, where like it just Itachi as a as a good as a as a as a a strong character amplifies everything wrong about Sasuke. Yep, to the fucking like unbelievable nth degree to such a magnitude that you're like it's it's infuriating this cool turn for this villain ends up destroying one of the heroes of the story in terms of writing and knowing somehow somewhere in my brain that backwards he's gonna be totally sitting fine reading a newspaper in the leaf as an Far adult. Far away. Yeah. I can't like working backwards from that point of view. You're in the weirdest it's place ever. So because unbelievable. you know who gets there and who's fine, and it's becoming more infuriating that they are. It's crazy. It's crazy to think 
that old old man Sasuke ends up with a pipe and slippers. Yeah. Reading a newspaper. And Sakura's at the park with the kids, and she's going, it's our anniversary. I wonder where Sasuke is. <laughs> <sighs> anyway Shikamaru should have become the Hokage because he's smart there's no necessary need for the Hokage to be the most powerful ninja because that's how you get dumbasses like Naruto in charge Naruto is gonna run that place into the ground <laughs> dude um, I mean it feels like the obvious choice I don't even know if he wanted it, but the st anyway, stuff, st I haven't seen the full arc yet, but stuff happens to fucking reroute or rewrite the way everybody feels about him. And, um, as, as far as I'm concerned, the main character of Naruto changed when a flash bomb went off behind Shikamaru and he put his hand out. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, you went, oh! Oh, 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 that's the coolest thing that's it. There are all these characters that are using magic demons. There are characters that are waving fans around and have puppets and sand powers. This guy throwing a light bulb behind him and putting his hand out so that the shadow stretches is the coolest thing that ever happened. Like, wouldn't your best leader be the one who is a tactical fucking smart person? Unbelievable genius. Yeah. Yeah, well, anyway. Um,. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go get Naruto out of office. How? Okay. And that's the end of the conversation, isn't it? <laughs> He'll throw a hundred Narutos at you, and they'll all be fox freakazoids. Oh, that's where you're going. Yeah. Okay. I was. I was gonna. I say. don't think. I don't think Naruto would make a good Hokage. Well, the votes say 180 million people voted for Naruto, and 2,000 voted for the next candidate. That's weird. How could so many votes for... And you just see Naruto in the voting booth with, like, the Shadow Clones. <laughs> Tried to impeach him. It didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> didn't take. Too many clones. <laughs> uh, you know, this Shadow Clone thing should really get out. I don't think with the, the system's gonna work with the Shadow Clone thing. That thing goes so much further. Is that why the Shadow Clone thing was banned? Because it's a threat to ninja democracy? What? Because <laughs> the Shadow Clone scroll is a banned scroll. That's the first episode. Oh, oh, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> but that thing gets so busted by the end, dude. Like, like, there. Because you get one of these moments where. Well, because okay, every time Naruto gets stronger on his own, his power multiplies by a thousand. So you there's you get to points where massive, insane plot battles are happening. Yeah. And, um. And, like, uh, Naruto goes through a full arc, and then at the end of it, it's like, oh, yeah, that was one of his clones. Yeah. He was actually somewhere else doing something else. And that whole time, that entire battle took place, that whole fucking arc you went through, multiple episodes, whatever, everything that happened was all just a part of his energy sent to go do the thing over there. And it's like, oh, that's the most, come on. It's a, yeah, yeah, they do that. They do There's that a thing. clip that I saw from Boruto that, that warms my heart. Which is uh, Naruto bumping into a table at uh, Bort's birthday, and him poofing out of existence, and the cake hitting the floor, and they're like, "Oh, Dad's doing something." Doctor so Manhattan. Like, yeah, Dad's out there doing. Doctor Manhattan. I, guess. I thought Dad was gonna come home for my birthday. Talk. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And it's like Jesus Christ. Absolutely. <laughs> Big blue dong. Isn't this what you wanted? This is what you wanted, right? It's, it's so bad. Multiple blue dongs? I'm over here in the lab. I'm on the moon. Does Naruto remember or know what his clones are doing? Boy, does he. Well, then how come he, he could do anything? That's the point. He could do anything. And guess what? Yeah. That's why. Why is he... Because that. <laughs> that's it. You just that's, that's the whole thing. He can be everywhere and do everything at the same time. Congratulations, you've cracked the story. What? How can you have a story with a character like that? He gets to do everything. And then, when they disappear, <laughs> it all comes back. Hey, a every clone, read one book a day. It, Go. It would take you, a <laughs> how about this? It would take you a hundred years to learn this jutsu. Would it? 
Cool. Okay, I learned it. <laughs> <laughs> like, done. That's it. Next. Oh. That's the entire thing. That's so stupid. That's so stupid. You figured it out. And it's because he works really hard. And the fact that he has an infinite source of energy that no one else has has nothing to do with it. It's not it's, infinite. It's oh, Shut up. It's functionally infinite. It's not infinite. It's not even two-thirds of infinite. It's barely half of infinite. Yeah! Naruto sucks so bad, dude. <laughs> Naruto sucks so fucking bad. You Holy shit. Dude. I love talking about you it. You don't even I know where it, You don't even know. And I'm saying this as the one who's constantly being told, no, you don't even know. There's, I'm telling you, you don't even know. Holy, and everyone's telling me, there's, you don't even know. There's one thing that I know that I know you don't, that I know you're going to have a connection over. And it has entirely to do with the redemptive arc shit. Okay. And it's a character they don't give a redemptive arc to. Okay. And it's like, I can't believe it. I really wish you would just let me tell you, but... Ugh. We'll get that. I can't believe it. I know a bunch, I don't know, there's just, but there's stuff I don't know. So, yeah. Anyway. Because all your complaints about Sasuke are going to fucking fall away in the face of this shit. Um... So, I hope that answers your question, Mediocre. <laughs>